Today's Chiefs Report is presented by Roan. Upgrade your wardrobe with clothing from Roan. Dress shirts, polos, jeans, and more. It's roan.com slash chat sports. Code chat sports. Going to get you 20% off at checkout. All right. Uh, stay tuned because coming up here on the Chiefs Report are Chris Jones and DeAndre Hopkin, Hopkins teasing what's to come. We'll explore that here in just a little bit. But... Let's talk about another interesting story. Justin Jefferson, Viking superstar receiver, arguably the best receiver in football nowadays, uh, has kind of been going on a media tour. He hopped on Cowherd. He's done some other uh, shows and interviews as well and uh, named his top five quarterbacks in the NFL. And look who he listed at number one, Patrick Mahomes. Now, my immediate reaction is, well, Justin Jefferson knows ball. I mean, he knows who the best quarterback in the NFL is. It's kind of weird he put Rodgers number two. I'm not sure he's the second best at this point. Joe Burrow, three, his college quarterback at LSU. Uh, obviously, Burrow doing great things with the Bengals. Jalen Hurts, four. Josh Allen, five. So my second takeaway was no mention of Kirk Cousins. I mean, he even went out of his way to call Justin Fields a dominant quarterback on Colin Cowherd, where there's obviously still question marks around Fields entering his third season in Chicago. He hasn't mentioned his own quarterback, Kirk Cousins, at all, which I find fascinating. I mean, Justin Jefferson is, like I said, maybe the best receiver in football at this exact point in time. Now, there's a lot of competition there, right? Like Cooper Cup, you've got Tyree Kill still there. You've got Devontae Adams, uh, A.J. Brown, Stephon Diggs. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's thick competition, but based on last season, Jefferson, who was an MVP finalist, the only non-quarterback in there, uh, led the NFL in receiving with over 1,800 yards. I mean, he is a special talent, and look, I'm not sitting here saying he's gettable right now in the trade market, but I do find it interesting that Justin Jefferson has not spoken publicly about Kirk Cousins recently during these uh, media rounds, and he's eligible for a contract extension, and an extension has not come. Why is that? Is that from Jefferson's side of things? Is that from Minnesota's? You would think the Vikings, uh, with a 24, 25-year-old receiver, Justin Jefferson, who is a superstar in this league, that that would be a priority, that regardless if Cousins is the long-term answer in Minnesota or not, that keeping him there would make sense. You start kind of thinking, you're like, man, if somehow he ever could become available and play with Patrick Mahomes, I mean, it would literally be unfair for opposing defenses, especially if he still got here while uh, Travis Kelsey was still, you know, at the peak of his powers, which obviously that would have to be in the next couple, ye next couple years because Kelsey's going to be 34 this year. But uh, it's, it's fascinating. Uh, I'll be curious to see how that plays out in Minnesota. Again, I don't think the Chiefs are going to be able to get him, but I'd be hyped as hell if they did. How hyped would you be if the Chiefs got Jetta? Justin Jefferson, that, of course, is his nickname. Scale of 1 to 100, I'd be at about a 10,000 because this team would break records, uh, which a lot of them would be their own records that they are breaking. Scale of 1 to 100, how hyped would you be to get Justin Jefferson in Kansas City? Has new evidence emerged around DeAndre Hopkins becoming a Kansas City Chief? Have new details surfaced? We're going to explore that in just a second. That's what they call a tease in the business. we got to tell you first about our friends Roan. And look, I've been wearing Roan for several months now, and uh, I've been rocking their su summer polos quite a bit as well. And with their commuter collection, they really did reinvent the male's closet uh, with their comfortable and breathable and flexible set of products. Uh, and here's why. Roan helps you get ready for any occasion, regardless of what you're doing with their quarter, po quarter zips, their polos, their pants, their dress shirts. They've got it all comfortable and fashionable. That's what they are all about. Mobility is so important nowadays. A lot of people are traveling for work. Uh, you're traveling during the summertime for work or vacation. You want to have different options, and Roan has that variety. It's very comfortable. You can go play around a golf and uh, their clothing as well. Looking good has always been easy. It's about being comfortable, and that's what Roan provides in addition to the style of it. Best part about Roan, in my opinion, machine washable. I used to hate every couple of weeks rounding out my work shirts and, uh, you know, Sunday uh, clothes and whatnot and having to go to the dry cleaners. No more. Throw these clothes in the washer, air dry them, you're good to go. Use code CHATSPORTS at Roan.com slash CHATSPORTS. That's R-H-O-N-E.com slash CHATSPORTS. 
Code chat sports to get 20% off at checkout. It's Roan. Upgrade your closet today. That link will be in the comments and in the description. If you look very closely here, Chris Jones talking about enjoyed the ESPYs with my brothers, yada, yada, yada. And look who commented. DeAndre Hopkins with the little, you know, uh, praise emoji. And then Chris Jones, a little finger crossed there. Something's in the works. What? And the handshake as well. What are we waiting for? I mean, seriously, what are we waiting for? The suspense is killing me. Brett Veach, let's get moving, man. Let's get this done. DeAndre Hopkins is still an elite player. Look, he's not a top five receiver in the NFL, but when fully healthy, he's still a number one, and that's all you need. You don't even need it, but if you have it, who's going to stop you? Like, if you go from Juju to Hopkins and everything else is basically the same, good luck. This was already the best offense in football last year. You got the best quarterback. Uh, one of the best of all time, by the way. You've got maybe the best tight end of all time who's still at the peak of his powers. You have good complementary pieces with Kadarius Toney and Marcos Valdez-Scantling, Sky Moore, uh, Isaiah Pacheco, Noah Gray, Jarrett McKinnon. You get that number one and hop, it's over. This is what you do. You extend Chris Jones, keep him long term, lower his cap hit this year. Oh, guess what? That frees up money for DeAndre Hopkins. Just sign him. Boom. You win Super Bowl 58, and we're on to next season because it is a done deal if you get DeAndre Hopkins in Kansas City. That's what you do. That's how you make it happen. Brett Beach, all eyes are on you. It's not a make or break deal, but if you do make it, Good luck to the rest of the NFL. Will DeAndre Hopkins be a chief? Type Y for yes, or you can type N for no. I believe it. I told you guys the other day I believe it. I'm going to keep talking about it and speak it into existence. Y for yes, N for no. Will DeAndre Hopkins be a chief or not? Let's talk about another receiver who's got a lot of pressure on him, especially if DeAndre Hopkins is not a chief, a player we've talked about a lot recently, Kadarius Toney, as the Conflicting opinions continue. The Athletic named Tony as the Chiefs' top breakout candidate. Here's Nate Taylor of The Athletic. He says, this offseason, the Chiefs didn't sign Odell Beckham Jr. or DeAndre Hopkins yet, or even Adam Thielen. Such decisions mean the Chiefs have pushed all of their chips in on Tony, becoming their next star receiver, a playmaker talented enough to top the 1,000-yard mark. But will Tony stay healthy? That remains the biggest question in his second year in Andy Reid's system. Tony is expected to have plenty of opportunities for his connection with Patrick Mahomes to flourish. Well, the opinions are all over the place around Tony, right? Some people think there's no way he can be trusted to be a big-time player. Others, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm like, I think he's got the talent to be a number one. I think he needs to mature more. Uh, I've also said that regardless of what happens, the trade was already worth it because he helped you win a Super Bowl. Um, but the reality is, is he's got to go prove it, man. I mean, in – Two seasons, he's got less than 600 yards. He's had injury problems, and he's had attitude problems, uh, commitment issues. I mean, the Giants' tenure was a mess. I mean, all those things are legitimate. And as of now, I mean, you're kind of thinking he might be your number one. I don't think that's a great idea. I really don't. Doesn't mean he's not capable of it, uh, but uh, it's it's a risk. It, it, it's absolutely a risk. Now, he didn't have a true number one last year, but Juju was at least a steady presence, right? He gave you... 900 yards last year, almost 80 catches. Like, you knew when he was on the field he was going to bring something to the table. Tony's all over the place. He might go for a buck 50. He may not be available. So it's an interesting thing. And, look, if you don't get a DeAndre Hopkins, you need Tony to perform, period. Like, it's not optional. You need him to be a guy that's on this offense. But if you do get Hopkins, which is why I keep clamoring for it, if the worst happens with Tony, you're not cooked. Like, you're okay. You've got plenty of depth. But if you don't get Hopkins and Tony is your projected one and he flames out, you're not cooked. But it's a lot harder at that point, even for uh, a team as good as this one. So I'm going to set the over-under at 750 yards for Kadarius Tony. Uh, Producer Coop thinks it's over. I think if he stays healthy, it's over. Even if he is a bit of a knucklehead this year, I just think the talent is too good and he's going to get opportunities. Type O for over. Type U for under. 750 yards for Kadarius Tony, over or under. Get your votes in down below and let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will continue to plug out the latest Chiefs news, rumors, updates. Training camp is almost here. We'll have full coverage for that as well. My name is Harrison Graham. Until next time, go Chiefs.